from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. All public Florida schools will be closed for the next two weeks because of the coronavirus. This is big news that will definitely affect many parents in the Bay Area. This is a huge move by the Commissioner of Education to try and stop the spread of COVID-19. The Florida Department of Education is directing all schools across the state to close for the next two weeks. This comes as many students are going to be on spring break next week. And at this point, schools plan to reopen on March 30th. Late Friday afternoon, President Donald Trump declaring a national state of emergency over the coronavirus. This declaration does four major things. It frees up $50 billion to fight COVID-19. It also calls on states to set up emergency centers. It allows hospitals to activate emergency preparedness plans. And it gives new powers to the Health and Human Services Secretary. Florida is one of several states vowing to press on with the primary election next week. This as Louisiana postpones their presidential primary, moving the election to June. For the first time in history, elections officials are now on both sides of the bay are moving polling places. They hope this will stop the spread of the coronavirus in high risk communities like assisted living facilities. Pinellas County is moving 10 precincts. Hillsborough County moving four. And this means thousands of voters will need to go somewhere else next Tuesday to vote. In other news, a ribbon cutting ceremony showing off the newly improved countryside sports complex in Clearwater. The complex will be used by kids in a variety of sports. Two and a half million dollars was spent on upgrades. It's a partnership between Clearwater and the city of Safety Harbor. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Den. Yeah, Wendy, we continue to see temperatures near record highs in the afternoons. I think especially Sunday and next week. The difference is by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, I think there will be enough humidity that we might see an isolated afternoon shower, kind of like we do in the summertime, but none of it's severe. I don't think there's any thunder or lightning, just a few widely scattered showers. It's all about the sunshine and the heat, though, through the weekend. All right, thanks, Dan. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download our free ABC Action News app.